Did you ever wonder why 94% of Scotland's land remains virtually untouched? Welcome to Scotland, a nation where the tapestry of time has been woven into every inch of the landscape. This is a land that is as diverse as it is beautiful. The Highlands, a region of towering mountains and deep, glittering lochs, stretches across the northern half of the country. The landscape here is raw, wild and untouched, a testament to the power of nature. Further north, you'll find the Scottish Islands, a collection of over 800 islets, each with its own unique character. From the windswept beauty of the Outer Hebrides to the rugged cliffs of Orkney, these remote islands are a world away from the bustle of the mainland cities. But it's not just the highlands and islands that make Scotland so special. The lowlands too hold their own charm with rolling hills, fertile farmlands and ancient forests. And let's not forget Scotland's cities, where the pulse of modern life beats strongly amid centuries-old architecture. Yet, despite the allure of the cities, the vast majority of Scotland remains uninhabited. 94% of the land here is devoid of human touch, a staggering figure that might seem puzzling. But when you look at the challenging topography, the punishing weather and the sheer remoteness of some areas, it starts to make sense. But it's not just about the difficulties. Scotland's untouched landscapes are also a choice, a commitment to preserving the country's natural beauty. This is a land that has chosen to let nature rule, to let the wild remain wild. So what makes so much of Scotland remain wild and untouched? The answer lies in a complex interplay of geography, history and culture. But at its heart, it's a story of respect for the land and a deep-rooted love of nature. From the towering peaks to the far-flung islands, Scotland's geography is a testament to the wild beauty of our planet. The untamed beauty of Scotland is a tale waiting to be told. A tale of a land that has chosen to remain wild. Join us as we delve deeper into this fascinating story. Scotland's vast landscapes bear the marks of a rich and turbulent history. Picture this. Once upon a time, these wild stretches of land were populated by vibrant communities. However, a series of historical events drastically altered this landscape. The Highland Clearances, a tragic chapter in the 18th and 19th centuries, saw thousands of people forcibly evicted from their homes in the highlands and islands. This mass displacement was driven by landowners who sought to replace people with more profitable sheep farming. This exodus left a lasting imprint on the land, with whole communities vanishing almost overnight. The echoes of their lives can still be felt in the abandoned crofts and ruins scattered across the highlands. This mass migration also led to a significant population shift, with many Scots relocating to urban areas or emigrating to countries like Canada, the United States and Australia. So why have these areas remained uninhabited? The answer lies in the harsh reality of the highland life. The rugged, remote terrain makes farming a tough endeavor and the harsh weather conditions don't make matters any easier. Despite the challenges, the locals held onto their land for centuries until the highland clearances forced them to leave. The footprints of history echo through these empty spaces, shaping Scotland's landscape as we know it. The historical events that unfolded here have left a profound impact, making Scotland's wilderness a poignant reminder of a bygone era. Beyond human reach, Scotland's uninhabited land thrives as a sanctuary for wildlife. The wild heart of Scotland pulses with life, hosting an incredible variety of habitats. From the towering Caledonian forests carpeted with moss and lichen, to the windswept moors and peat bogs, each landscape is a world unto itself, teeming with unique species. The highlands, a tapestry of heather and bracken, are home to the elusive red deer and the golden eagle, soaring high above the peaks. The rugged coastlines and islands lashed by the North Atlantic waves provide refuge for colonies of puffins and seals. And let's not forget the rivers and lochs, where otters play and salmon leap upstream. But this is not a land frozen in time, it's a dynamic, evolving ecosystem shaped by the forces of nature and the species that inhabit it. Conservation is essential to preserve these habitats and their inhabitants, and Scotland has been at the forefront of environmental protection in Europe. The country's commitment to conservation is not just about preserving the past, but also securing the future. The wilderness areas are vital for biodiversity, acting as a haven for endangered species and a natural laboratory for scientists studying the impacts of climate change. In the silence of the wild, life thrives in its most authentic form. 
Scotland's untouched landscapes are more than just a breathtaking spectacle. They're a testament to the resilience of nature and a beacon of hope for a sustainable future. In modern Scotland, a tale of two worlds unfolds. On one hand, we have the bustling cities like Glasgow and Edinburgh, pulsating with life and modernity. Here, the urban population thrives amidst rich cultural heritage and the conveniences of city life. On the other hand, we have the vast, untamed wilderness that makes up a staggering 94% of Scotland. This is a realm where nature rules supreme, where the call of the wild echoes unchallenged. It's a place where solitude isn't merely an option, but a way of life. But why this stark contrast? Well, it's a combination of factors, from the ruggedness of the terrain making it challenging for widespread human settlement to a historical preference for urban living. In these remote areas, life can be tough, resources are scarce, and amenities limited. Yet there's a certain charm that draws people to these wild expanses. For some, it's the tranquility in the close-knit communities. For others, it's the sheer love for the great outdoors. Experts highlight the importance of this urban-rural divide. It's a balance that allows Scotland to preserve its pristine environments while continuing to grow and develop its urban areas. So we find a Scotland that's a blend of urban sophistication and wild, untamed beauty. A land where history, culture and nature intertwine to create a captivating tapestry. In the heart of the wilderness or amid city lights, where would your Scottish story unfold? As we look toward the future, Scotland's uninhabited land poses a critical question. How do we balance the need for preservation with the drive for sustainable development? This question is not just for Scotland, but for the world. As we grapple with the challenges of the 21st century, there's potential in these empty spaces, ripe with opportunities for eco-tourism. Imagine the thrill of hiking through the untouched wilderness, reveling in the beauty of the ancient highlands or kayaking amongst the remote islands. All the while, you're contributing to the local economy and encouraging the preservation of these pristine habitats. But the possibilities extend beyond tourism, the winds that sweep across the wild moors and the waves that crash against the rugged coastlines could be harnessed to create renewable energy. The vast, open spaces could host wind and tidal power farms, generating clean energy and reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. Yet it's a delicate balance. Any development must be done with the utmost care, ensuring that the wild beauty and rich biodiversity of these landscapes are not compromised. It's a challenge that invites innovation, creativity, and respect for the natural world. In the heart of Scotland's wilderness could lie the blueprint for a more sustainable future. A future where we live in harmony with the land, taking only what we need and giving back wherever we can. The empty spaces of Scotland could inspire us all to tread lightly on this earth and cherish the wild places that remain.